Online news websites and apps may all look different, but they do have some features in common. Understanding these features can help you better evaluate the journalistic standards used by news organizations in reporting the news. Have you noticed that content on a news website is organized into sections? These sections historically correspond to a print section of the newspaper and have a lead editor and journalists who specialize in reporting for that section. You might see sections for particular regions such as world, United States, or California, or topics such as science, politics, sports, or lifestyle. At first glance, it could be hard to spot the sections on the homepage. There's usually a lot happening. News organizations' homepages will have a combination of highlighted top stories, editorials, and advertisements. Top stories are selected by editors with a mix of what drives traffic, and those that are especially current or newsworthy. You might see live, breaking, or just now used next to the most recent story headlines to distinguish those updates from other stories on the front page. Editorials and opinion pieces may be in their own section or mixed in. You may need to take a closer look at the individual article to discern if it's an editorial piece presenting a persuasive argument or opinion, rather than reporting the news as objectively as possible. News websites may also have sponsored content or other branded content. These are paid advertisements that are designed to have the same look and feel as other online news. It may be easy to miss, but the Federal Trade Commission, or FTC, requires that sponsored content be designated as such. Once you click on an individual news article, they usually follow a similar format. In the United States, news organizations usually follow the Associated Press Stylebook which provides grammar and other language usage guidelines for reporting. The Associated Press is also one of the largest and oldest news organizations, which conducts its own multi-agency reporting, so you'll likely see some articles credited to the AP. The first thing you might notice is the headline. This is usually in larger, bold text. Headlines are typically written by the editor instead of the journalist reporting the story. Don't just read the headline, though. The story itself likely provides a more nuanced view. After the headline, you'll have a subheadline, a smaller sentence to catch your attention. The byline is who reported the story. If it doesn't have a specific journalist's name, it may have been written by a group of the section journalists. You can also check for information on the journalists who may have assisted by searching for contributed reporting, usually at the bottom of the article. Some articles also include a dateline. This is the location the story was reported from in all caps and begins the first line of the article. Any photos will include a caption describing what's happening in the photo and a photo credit. The credit tells you who took the photo and maybe an individual or another media company. A savvy news consumer will want to evaluate how well the photo corresponds to the story. You may have noticed that newspaper editors make a lot of decisions of what should be published and how it should look. They may select the photos to be used in a particular story, decide what goes on the front page, or how much space to devote to a story. Together with the reporters, they shape the news you read. 